I'm going to give y'all my Oscar picks for this year for 2015. Well, let me tell you what. I just have to say, for my pick for best film, best picture for 2015, there's only one movie that jumped out at me and grabbed me. Woo! And that was Magic Mike 2. Woo! That's right. Man, that film was awesome. Did you see all them hot buns running around there? They were sexy, sexy. And that old Tatum Channon, woo, can he dance? I'm going to also give him best actor, because I tell you what, he got the hottest and best buns in all of Hollywood. <laughs> Hey, by the way, speaking of best actor, I am going to give a tie this year. We got another great actor out there, and he's on TV almost every day. None other than the Donald himself. That's right, Donald Trump. Donald, I'm going to give you the best actor award tied with Tatum because you can make Schwarzenegger look like a wussy. Yeah, ain't nobody going to be coming over our borders when you put that old wall up there. I tell you what, you're going to keep them all out, I tell you. And let me tell you what, I'm also going to give you a special award that is new at the Oscars. And that's going to be the best hairdo ever. That's right. I love that old hair you got on there, honey. I don't know where the heck you got it, but it sure looks cute. You're a cute one. If you wasn't married, I'd tell you what, I'd meet you. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, let's move on now. Enough about the Donald. We're going to talk about the best actress award. I'm going to have to give it, hey. That's just hands down. It's going to Hillary Clinton. She is my pick because everything that Hillary says is made up from some old script. And listen, don't y'all be thinking that, you know, that she just ain't giving that poor, sweet little Bernie Sanders a hard time. She's acting like an old snake running after that cute little Bernie. Well, he reminds me of my little old granddaddy back on the farm in Kentucky. You know we're all kin in Kentucky. <laughs> But anyway, don't you worry about that. Mr. Bernie, you just keep your head up, honey, and you just remember that that old Hillary, she's just blowing smoke and talking trash. And by the way, Hillary, girlfriend, I got to talk to you a minute. I will give you some loose end advice. You better get your little old buns home right now, get off of that campaign trail, and keep your little Billy Boy under control. You need to cook him up a good old dinner with some grits, fried chicken, biscuits, and gravy, and keep that man happy. And while you're at it, you know, you better just make sure there ain't going to be no more Monica's or Jennifer Flowers because you can't handle that girlfriend. They ain't going to work for you this time. We got to keep that little man, Mr. Billy, under control and happy. And then that way, girlfriend, you could have a chance to be the very first woman in the White House on Pennsylvania Street. Well, next up, what? Oh, hey, we're out of, you sure we're out of time? Shoot, doggone it. Well, hey. Be sure and turn in next time, or tune in next time, I should say, because Lucinda Lou, that's me. I'm the trailer park, Martha Stewart, and now I'm a film critic and a political analyst. Tune in because I got it all right here. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.